Hi everyone, it's repair time again. This time I have another flux scope meter for repair. I have several videos on the channel about flux scope meters, but this is a newer model with lithium ion battery. Two channels, 200 MHz, 2.5 GHz samples per second, in a reasonably good shape, a bit dirty with some scratches, not too bad. A calibration sticker here, slightly damaged. One more here. No battery, unfortunately. Here is the battery compartment. And it doesn't power up. Let me show you. Here is the power connector. Let me plug in the power supply. And when I try to power it up, this happens. Seems like it tries to start, then shuts down immediately, then tries again, and so on. Let's take a look inside. Here we are inside just to see this metal work, so we need to dig deeper. I took the board out just to have a look at the other side and uh, look at this. Seems like some water damage. Is this related to the problem we see or unrelated? I'm not sure. I took the shields off and I don't see any more damage than just a rusty shield. Just a bit of a stain along the edge but I don't see any damage to any components. I fixed it. It took quite a while, and all that time I was not sure if I'm wasting time or not. First of all, I cleaned this shield and put it back. Nothing is wrong there, I believe. So I started probing around. Checking power rails, capacitors, diodes, transistors, and such. Looking for shorts. Looked at data buses with oscilloscope, trying to see if anything looks wrong, which it didn't. And then I found a topic on EEV blog forum, which suggested that it must be corrupted firmware, and described a way to fix it. So I decided to give that a shot. And for that, I had to desolder these two flush chips, read them, and transfer a small section with customized information like model, serial number, calibration, and such into a freshly downloaded firmware update from Fluke, in which this section is blank. And after programming these chips and soldering them back, the thing started working. To read and write the flash chips, I used this Mini Pro programmer, model TL866CS, and this uh, TSOP48 adapter. Here is this forum topic. It is about Tektronics THS3024, but it seems to be identical to Fluke. Here is the board, and it looks exactly like Fluke except that my unit is a two-channel version. So I followed this procedure. I had to transfer this block from 8000 to FFFF, which can be subdivided either into four pieces or into two pieces, with checksum at the end of each. In my case it was subdivided into two pieces. And I also had to zero out this small area from 7.0 to 7.f, as suggested here. So this procedure worked for me perfectly. So now look at this. This is the version I downloaded from Fluke, 11.46.
the scope meter is back together and works fine. Thanks for watching. Bye.